In this video, we take a look at transaction processing, the ACID rules, record locking and redundancy. Transaction processing is any information processing which is divided into individual, indivisible operations that we call transactions. Each of these transactions must succeed or fail as a complete unit. It can never be only partially complete. All relational database systems have certain base functionality which follow the acronym CRUD, the ability to create, read, update and delete. These core functions map to the SQL statements insert, create, select, update and delete. In order to ensure data integrity, transaction processing in all database management systems must conform to a set of rules. These rules describe the properties required by all database transactions and can be remembered with the acronym ACID. You must be aware of the ACID rules for your exam. A stands for atomicity. A change in the database is either completely performed or not at all. A half completed change must never be saved back to a database. Consistency. Any change to the database must retain the overall state of the database. A good example is money debited from one account must be balanced by money being credited into another. If this wasn't the case, money could literally vanish. Isolation. A transaction must not be able to be interrupted by another transaction. To do this, the transactions must occur in isolation, so that the users or processes cannot have access to the data concerned. In practical terms, database management systems enforce this by carrying out record locking. The record, or records, being used by the transaction are locked and effectively placed in an invisible or read-only state. Only once the transaction has been fully completed is the lock removed. And finally, durability. Once a change has been made to a database, it must, not, it must not be lost due to a system failure. This is achieved in real terms by making sure that databases write transactions immediately back to permanent secondary storage, and they don't simply hold those changes in, say, main memory.